Hi everyone, and thanks for being here. Finally, they fixed this issue, this annoying issue, let me say. So if you guys are using SteelSeries GT software paired with a SteelSeries headset, you have might notice an annoying issue. But before that, let me quickly recap some settings here. So here we have on the Sonar tab, and as we can see, we have other sub tabs, game, chat, media, and whatever else. As you might know, these are virtual audio devices that are installed when you install GG and enable Sonar. So in Windows, you can choose these devices depending on what you are doing. For example, for game, the output Output sound will be played on whatever device you are choosing here. For example, let's say in this case I'm choosing my headset from uh, my Artix Nova Pro wireless headset. And if those headphones are turned off and you have enabled a sub menu, we will go in a minute. If the, your headphone is turned off, then the playback devices will be the next device. But that device might be not connected to anything, so you are not going to listen sounds and it's going to be an issue because otherwise you're not going to listen to anything. So let's jump to the settings. Let's go to the sonar settings and let's click to to the backup device here the automatic backup device switch is disabled in this case because mine is disabled but whenever you enable this it's going to enable some other sub menus and we will get to that in a minute so what the automatic backup device switch does is if as we can see here if your current playback device is unplugged or become unavailable sonar will switch to the next available device place it highest in the priority list below so what this means is that in this list here for example if we are gaming and we want to listen sounds through a certain device while we're gaming we can choose this Display playback devices. In this case, I have chosen the, my headphones and then other headphones connected to the Elgato Wave XLR and so on. So here you can include or exclude playback devices that are used in your system. So you can choose whatever device you want. The first device will be automatically used in this case. So if the device is turned off, Sonar will switch to the next available device that you have on this list. And if also the device is turned off or it's not working, that will switch to another one and so on. So to, to all the devices that we have here in this list. If none of those devices Devices or turn it on or it's not working, then you are not going to listen any sound. This is working with all these sub menus, for example, media chat, and whatever you are putting on the first device here, you are going to use it as the device for your sound, for your output, for your mic, and so on. This has been added with a latest update because with the other version of the Steel Series GG software with the Sonar, uh, this sub menu with these priority devices wasn't there. So this uh, this is something useful that they have finally fixed. So you don't have to go crazy with whenever your headset is turned off because you want, let's say to game and you want to use a headset for the game but you don't want to use a headset when you are listening to media for example let's say you watch a movie or to watch a video or whatever so you want a specific device let's say a soundbar in this case maybe you have a soundbar and you want the sound to go only through the soundbar where you are listening to media then you can choose that device here on the playback devices and exclude all the devices so whatever your headset is turned on the sound that is coming from media because you have to choose the media output from your windows from virtual router device i've done a video on that so I will leave this video down in the description so you guys can go and check all the advanced settings and so on. Anyway, if you choose the, the device, well, the audio is going to go out through only this specific device you are going to choose here. So this is really something useful and finally they fix it for all the virtual routing and for all the virtual audio devices so you guys don't have to, <laughs> to mess with all the settings and go crazy with all the settings. And another important thing is this submenu here. Consider my wireless device as unavailable if it's plugged but not powered on. So this means that if you are using Using, for example, the Arctic Nova Pro Wireless and this device, the DAC, the receiver, and also the headset, if you are there, turn it off. It will consider turn it off. I don't want this because, in my specific example, I'm using the output of this device for soundbar, so I want this device to be used in that case for the media output. But if you don't have nothing connected there and you, if you have connected only your headset on the DAC of the Arctic Nova Pro Wireless, then this should be turned on or off. Depends on you. So, this is an important fix by SteelSeries. Finally, they have have improved this submenu for backup device switch on sonar which was something that was missing and finally they add this submenu here and i have to say they have done a really good job with this and it's working fine up to now so guys let me know down in the comments if you are using these settings and if you are changing those playback devices and exclude devices and so on and how do you find this update from still serious so if you guys find this content helpful please leave a thumb up consider subscribing to the channel share the video thanks for watching